Hi there, I'm Roberta Fernandez, a board certified hypnotist and a certified professional hypnosis instructor um, located in the Fair Hypnosis Center in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Today we're going to continue our uh, talk about the secret language of feelings. Last week we talked about identifying the feeling, naming that feeling. Today we might take a look at step two, which is what's the cause of that feeling? And sometimes when we don't really know what to name it, we might want to skip to step two and see if identifying the cause helps us find the name for what we're really feeling. So for example, if you have currently lost your job, you might be feeling sad. Um, if somebody's been treating you unfairly, then you might be feeling angry. If you've done something to hurt someone else's feelings, you might be feeling guilty. So naming the cause is very important, obviously, because this is going to help us um, avoid these situations again if we possibly can, but it also can help us to double check that we're actually naming the feeling correctly because if we don't name the feeling correctly, uh, we don't know how to deal with it appropriately, which is the topic of next week's discussion. I'll give you an example of how that worked. I had a client one time uh, and she said, you know, my sister really needed therapy and I've been trying so hard to get her to go to the therapist uh, because I think it will help her. And when I talked with her last time on the phone, she, helped, she was really mad and I wasn't successful and I just feel so guilty. And I looked at her and I said, hmm, I said, what was it that you did to your sister that was unfair? And she looked at me like I'd lost my mind. And she said, well, nothing. I was just trying to help her. And I said, then you're not feeling guilty. You're feeling inadequate. She hadn't done a good enough job. She wasn't good enough to talk her sister into the therapy that she felt she needed it. And so if she would have tried to address guilt and come up with a satisfying response for that, she never would have been satisfied, would she? No, because she was addressing the wrong feeling and the wrong cause and therefore not being able to find that satisfying response. So that's step one and step two of how we deal with those feelings. And next week we'll talk about what are those satisfying responses like? I'm Roberta Fernandez, helping you take back control by unlocking the power of your mind to reach your goals of any kind.